Yeah, so I just wanted to start off by like getting to know a bit about you and so what like first drew you into cartooning? Um, okay, I'll start with introducing myself. Uh, I'm Yemi Sarach, that's my long name, short is Yemi. Um, I'm from Ethiopia, uh, Addis Ababa, the capital city. So um, um, I'm a cartoonist um, and I also do graphics design. Um, I run an illustration-based company with my brother in uh, Addis Ababa uh, called uh, Laughing Gas Design. Um, yeah, basically this is me. And what drew me to cartoons uh, was um, as a kid, I liked how colorful they were um, and they're very catchy um, and they're not bound by reality. Um, uh, the sun can be the sun can set in the east and nobody minds. So I like that about cartoons. Um, the other is it's very easy to convey a message. You can say a lot with a simple doodle. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that uh, drew me drew me to cartoons. Okay, nice. Um, and so, how do you see like your role as a cartoonist? Do you see it as perhaps you should be commenting on current events or do you more see yourself as an activist and your cartoons are your way of um, putting across your opinion? Okay. Um, I, I don't think uh, I don't think I'm bo in both categories right now because uh, most of the things I do is advocacy work. It's um, um, I work with uh, various um, international NGOs um, um, and the things I do are basically social social uh, issues social issues and um, uh, that advocate about um, humanitarian humanitarian uh, issues like human rights women rights agriculture um, peace and security um, um, the environment health um, uh, things like that, and I usually work with uh, 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 NGOs and humanitarian organizations. Yeah. Um, and so, what kind of uh, like influence do you do you see your cartoons having? Like, have you have you seen it, have, or what? what mm. How do you imagine people react to them? Um, I have never seen anyone uh, not being drawn to cartoons because they're very, very colorful. They attract and uh, uh, they um, attract your attention. So I believe the uh, whichever organization I'm working with, uh, I believe their message is uh, put across very easily and can easily be understood by their uh, by their end users. Um, and with the literacy rate in uh, our, uh, like there are a lot of people that are, uh, that can't read and, uh, read and write in the country. So I believe the cartoon, cartoons play a great role because you don't have to read or write to understand a certain picture. Um, so I think um, for advocacy purposes and for educational purposes of a certain um, topic, uh, I believe that's where the my the influence of the cartoons are here. Okay, okay, brilliant. Um, and so now, I just want to talk a bit about what you think about the more like the role of cartoons more generally is, especially in terms of public debate. We've we've just kind of touched on this, but so you think cartoons they should reflect current events, and how do you, how do you see them interacting with wider public debates? Mm -hmm. Um, so I think with the current situation in Ethiopia, uh, cartoon, the role cartoons can play um, is it's like a double aged sword, you know, because there is a lot of hate speech that is going on in the country uh, because of uh, the, um, the lots of division due to ethnic groups in the country. There is a lot of hate speech that is going on in the country. So uh, cartoons um, can be um, a way to bring people together, to bring unity. And also you can use it as a way to uh, divide people more, to break them apart and to spread the hate that is already there. 
So um, I believe there has to be responsibility while you use uh, while you use cartoons in the country because there's a newfound uh, freedom of expression within the past three years. I believe it's better than the the, the regime before the current one. So people aren't really uh, balancing uh, the the two. Like, uh, do I um, spread hate or do I uh, um, become a tool of unity? So I believe cartoons are also uh, torn apart by these two concepts. But for me, uh, it's better to uh, to be it's better to um, use cartoons to bring unity rather than division. Um, and so how do you see cartoons perhaps changing in the future with new technology, more social media? You kind of touched mm -hmm. on it as you say they've been used to spread hate and obviously social media can be quite mm -hmm. prevalent with that. Do you see cartooning changing in, in the future or, or yeah, what's, what's your opinion? Okay, cartooning. Um, I think with technology, cartoons have a bright future the, because uh, they can be more interactive. Uh, they can be uh, spread uh, more because there would be easy access of uh, technology at, uh, in the future. Um, and I believe there is um, less um, reading. I don't know. I mean, I don't know the, the numbers, but I believe people are becoming more visual. Uh, rather than reading a long text. So cartoons um, have hope there because when, when be people become more visual, uh, they can aid that, uh, that uh, transition. Um, so I believe with technology, people have, uh, cartoons have a bit brighter future. Yeah. And so, yeah, this following on from that, you mentioned earlier that you first were drawn to cartoons when you were younger. So do you see yeah. cartoons as a good educational tool um, for children as well as for adults in public debate? Of course, I mean, um, that is one of my strong beliefs because as a kid, I didn't like reading. I didn't like reading a lot, but I, I like cartoons, like drawings, drawing based things. They stick to your brain uh, longer than the texts uh, that um, you read, that's what I, I, for me, that's easier. So for kids, it's easier to explain complicated, complicated things with a drawing. Um, even for people that can't read and write, like in our society, it's very easy to uh, show them uh, something complicated with cartoons. Um, um, and it's it's very graspable. It's very easy and graspable. The things the things that I work on, majorly is um, they give me like complicated subjects. I break it down into readable and um, uh, graspable uh, drawings so that people can easily understand it. So I know for a fact that cartoons can help educate someone on a certain topic easily. Um, yeah, so probably a, a slightly unfair question to ask a cartoonist, but do you think there are perhaps any weaknesses to cartoons? Yes, there are, um, because cartoons, for example, in our society, cartoons are directly related to kids and uh, they're not serious enough to transmit a very, um, a very serious topic. For example, if I'm talking about uh, violence against women, for example, uh, would cartoons be capable enough uh, to transmit that message uh, correctly? Would they be serious enough? Yes, they will be serious enough, I think, because um, they're not only meant to transmit humor uh, and um, and only meant for kids like uh, Tom and Jerry, like everybody thinks in our society, but um, that, especially in the Ethiopian society, there is less awareness about what cartoons are capable of. And when you transmit a something uh, with cartoons, people tend to think it's not serious, it's for kids, and it's uh, uh, maybe it's for fun only. Okay. Yeah. And do you think there is ever um, a, 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 like a danger of cartoons being like misunderstood or do you think that just comes down to the cartoonists and how clearly they, they make their, their point? 
There is, there is, I think, uh, definitely a way cartoons can be misunderstood. misunderstood. You know, in Ethiopia, there are, like I said, there are 70 nations and nationalities. So when you represent an Ethiopian, how do you repre represent an Ethiopian? Do I make him, because they have, everyone has different clothing, they, everybody have their own cultural clothing. So when I represent an Ethiopian man, how do I represent that uh, person? So sometimes if you make him look like um, a certain ethnic group, then it will be misunderstood for being disrespectful of the others. Um, like I said before, there are a lot of people, a lot of um, fake news that's going on within the country, lots of false narrative um, trying to um, cause clashes among the different ethnic groups within the country. So uh, people, the normal, uh, I mean, people that are looking to live peacefully are having a hard time to do so. So that's why I drew this one with the peace bird and people cheering um, as it comes towards them. Okay, yeah, let's just do this yeah. one and then we'll... Uh... Yeah, this one is, you can see like this guy is trying to find real information everywhere, but he really can't. Um, so that is the level of fake news within the country uh, that uh, it's being circulated um, and people are trying to find the real information, but it, they're not getting it. And due to that fake information, um, it's leading to conflict um, and ethnic clashes. Right, well, uh, yeah, go back to some questions now. So. Um... Okay. How, how important is it for you to have humor in your cartoons and how do you strike a balance mm -hmm. between perhaps putting humor in and making sure it's still informative and not making sure, yeah, yeah. Okay, humor, uh, I, don't, I, I, I don't think I use much of humor in my cartoons like you've seen, it's more of symbolism that I, I use. Um, um, because, um, uh, it's easier for me to depict uh, a certain situation uh, um, more simpler. Um, to to do so, to do so, I use um, cultural cultural um, connections within uh, the society. For example, in Ethiopia, we have proverbs that we use. So many proverbs. For example, there is one that says. Um, uh, if spider waves unite, they can tie a lion. So there's, we have so many like that, that can be used for different situations. So I try to incorporate this in my cartoons. Um, and within the African society, the elderly is usually considered wise. So I try to use wiser um, elderly people to conv uh, convey a message so that it directly relates to um, the African mentality. Okay, and then just a bit about how the pandemic and COVID, how has that like affected mm -hmm. your cartoons? How's that perhaps been reflected in your cartoons or has it kind of been business as normal when obviously there's the ongoing conflict in Ethiopia? Mm -hmm. So how, what's the focus been? Has it been on COVID or? on that or a mixture of both you could just talk a little bit about that okay when covid uh, came um, um actually uh, you know i work or like i said i worked with various um organizations uh, so most of them were keen to uh to transmit messages on the the precautions that we should take against COVID. So I did so many. I did so many posters that tell don't do this, do this. Uh, I did so many of those, and I also did one comics um, um, for kids because at that time kids were uh, confused, uh, like why they're not going to school or why they cannot play with their kid, their friends. So. Uh, most of the cartoons that I did were to raise awareness about what uh, COVID is and uh, how we can keep ourselves safe from COVID. Um, so that was how I was involved. Um, but regarding the conflict, I would say COVID is given less attention uh, than the conflict and most of the resources 
uh, are um, going to the conflict than uh, to COVID. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I see. Um, and then this is this is my last question. We've kind of already okay. touched on it. Um, so, well, you've already said that you think young people are interested in cartoons. Do you think they're both interested mm -hmm. in learning to like draw cartoons themselves as perhaps a tool to, um, yeah, convey their message as well as looking at them to understand certain topics? Okay, when it comes to the young, uh, um, yeah, I think there's a potential, but uh, the thing is there are few cartoonists in Ethiopia uh, and most of them are self-taught. Uh, we don't have schools in the in Ethiopia where you could go and learn how to do cartoons and of course they need some skill set to draw and to understand how it works so there aren't schools in this country um, and that is something that I would really want to work on okay so we don't have schools and the other is cartoons are not really considered as a career path in this country because uh, they're considered as uh, tools for uh, kids uh, in, in our society um, the awareness about cartoons is very low it's not like Europe where you see cartoons being utilized everywhere uh, comic books being everywhere here we don't have uh, comic books at, at all I don't think I haven't seen um, so many comic books so we have to work on uh, Educating the youth, cartooning, cartooning is also a path that they can take as a career path. And it's a very powerful tool to, uh, to transmit a message to express themselves.